So I'll be showing you how to download multiple YouTube videos at one time using Python, PyTube, and Notepad. We will use Python to script the automation of downloading YouTube videos. We will use PyTube, which is a pip installable library from PyPy, to do the downloading. And then we will use Notepad to store all the links of the videos you wish to download from YouTube. The overall workflow of this video is 1. Navigate to YouTube videos you wish to download and copy the URL link. 2. Store that URL link into a notepad file you've created. 3. Use Python with PyTube to loop over the list of links from that notepad file. And 4. Check your results. Not every YouTube video downloads. Alright, first let's create a new text file. We're going to go to text document and let's call it URL links. Next, let's, an op let's open up Chrome and go to YouTube. Inside of here, let's find the specific video types that we're looking to download. So for me, I'm going to put UFC fights. All right. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to click the link. I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to open up my URL links and I'm just going to paste. And I'm going to do this for every video that I want. And like such. Remember at the end to save the file. So we're going to save these two. After collecting the links, let's create a new folder so we can store all the videos we download with Python. And then let's open up our Python script. You can find this on my GitHub repository. Once you have the Python script open, let's go to the top. First, we're going to import from PyTube, YouTube, and Playlist. Next, we're going to create a function called download video list, and we're going to give it an argument called YouTube link, which is essentially going to be something that we use a for loop to link to, to loop over. <clears throat> we're going to use a try statement to download each video in the list. And right here is a very important part. You need to know the location at which you want to save these videos which you can find easily by going to the properties right here. This is your location and this is the name of the folder. Same thing for your YouTube links. Go to properties. Here's your file location. Here's the name, but with this one, you need to have the .txt file. If it works, it will print done. And if it doesn't work, it will tell you that it did not work. And then down here, We're using YouTube link to create and we're going to create an empty array and then we're going to open our file and we're going to iterate over that file. Afterwards, we're going to close it and then we're going to run the function feeding it in the YouTube link array. And now let's run the code. You will see a sign print up either done or file corrupt. And then afterwards it will kill the program. If we go over here, here are our YouTube videos.